Yashar, Jasher, 35. And all the kings of the Amorim came and took their stand in the field to consult with their counselors what was to be done with the sons of Yaakov, for they were still afraid of them, saying, Behold, two of them slew the whole of the city of Shechem, and Yahuwah heard the prayers of Yitzchak and Yaakov, and he filled the hearts of all these kings' advisers with great fear and terror that they unanimously exclaimed, Are you silly this day, or is there no understanding in you that you will fight with the Ivrim, and why will you take a delight in your own destruction this day? Behold, two of them came to the city of Shechem without fear or terror, and they killed all the inhabitants of the city, that no man stood up against them. And how will you be able to fight with them all? Surely you know that their Elohim is exceedingly fond of them and has done mighty things for them, such as have not been done from days of old. And amongst all the Elohim of nations, there is none can do like unto his mighty deeds. Surely he delivered their father Avraham the Ivri from the hand of Nimrod and from the hand of all his people who had many times sought to slay him. And, rather, he delivered him also from the fire in which King Nimrod had cast him and his Elohim delivered him from it. And who else can do the like? Surely it was Avraham who slew the five kings of Elam when they had touched his brother's son, who in those days dwelt in Chedam. And took his servants that was faithful, rather took his servant that was faithful, in his house and a few of his men, And they pursued the kings of Elam in one night and killed them and restored to his brother's son all his property which they had taken from him. And surely you know the Elohim of these Ivrim is much delighted with them and they are also delighted with him for they know that he delivered them from all their enemies. And behold, through his love Toward his Elohim, Avraham took his only and precious son and intended to bring him up as a burnt offering to his Elohim. And had it not been for Elohim who prevented him from doing this, he would then have done it through his love to his Elohim. And Elohim saw all his works and swore unto him and promised him that he would deliver his sons and all his seed from every trouble that would befall them, because he had done this thing. And, through his love to his Elohim, stifled his compassion for his child. And, have you not heard what their Elohim did to Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, and to Avimelech, king of Gerar, through taking Avraham's woman, who said of her, She is my sister, lest they might slay him on account of her, and think of taking her for a woman. And Elohim did unto them and their people all that you heard of. And behold, we ourselves saw with our eyes that Esau, the brother of Yaakov, came to him with four hundred men with the intention of slaying him, for he called to mind that he had taken away from him his father's blessing. And he went to meet him when he came from Aram to smite the mother with the child, and who delivered him from his hands 
but his Elohim in whom he trusted. He delivered him from the hand of his brother and also from the hands of his enemies. And surely he again will protect him. Who does not know that it was their Elohim who inspired them with strength to do to the town of Shechem the evil which you heard of? Could it then be with their own strength that two men could destroy such a large city as Shechem, and it, rather, had it not been for their Elohim in whom they trusted? He said and did unto them all this to slay the inhabitants of the city in their city. And can you then prevail over them who have come forth together from your city to fight with the whole of them, even if a thousand times as many more should come to your assistance? Surely you know and understand that you did you do not come to fight with them, but you come to war with their Elohim, who made choice of them, and you have therefore all come this day to be destroyed. Now, therefore, refrain from this evil which you are endeavoring to bring upon yourselves, and it will be better for you not to go to battle with them, although they are but few in numbers, because their Elohim is with them. And when the kings of the Emorim heard all the words of their advisors, their hearts were filled with terror, and they were afraid of the sons of Yaakov, and would not fight against them. And they inclined their ears to the words of their advisors, and they listened to all their words. And the words of the counselors greatly pleased the kings, and they did so. And the kings turned and refrained from the sons of Yaakov, for they dared not approach them to make war with them, for they were greatly afraid of them, and their hearts melted within them from their fear of them. For this proceeded from Yahuwah to them, for he heard the prayers of his servants Yitzhak and Yaakov, for they trusted in him. And all these kings returned with their camps on that day, each to his own city, and they did not at that time fight with the sons of Yaakov. And the sons of Yaakov kept their station that day till evening opposite Mount Sichon, and seeing that these kings did not come to fight against them, the sons of Yaakov returned home.